Hey everyone, this is Sean. I recently did a Surface Pro 3 unboxing video and one of the big surprises was how many questions I got about the Surface Pro 3. And what I'd like to do is actually go through and answer some of these questions um, that I had from my viewers. Okay, so the first question is from Spider Pig. He asked about what uh, Surface model I have and also about swapping the type covers among the various surfaces. Okay, so the Surface model that I got was a uh, 128 gigabyte uh, Core i5 model. And the CPU you can see right here is 4300U. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's a 64 bit operating system. Okay, and the second part of the question was about swapping the type covers. So this is the Surface Pro 3 and this is the Surface 2. I'm going to go ahead and swap out the type covers. So I'm going to snap this in there. fits perfectly and I'm going to snap the Surface Pro 3 on my Surface 2 uh, type cover. Okay, so let's see what happens when we close it. Alright, so you can see it is definitely oversized. Yes, it does snap in but uh, there's no magnetic uh, snapping there and uh, it this is definitely not something you'd probably want to do. Okay, so that's the Surface 2. Okay, now let's look at the Surface Pro 3. Now I'm using my old type cover. I can close it but you can see it's definitely too small. It still works. You can see I can still scroll with my mouse. Uh, I can, everything's still responsive. Okay, and Spider Pig also asked about whether or not you can still swipe from the bottom with the magnetic keyboard attached to the screen. So that's actually a great question, and I've got a great answer. So let's go ahead and snap that in. Let's. So as you can see, I cannot actually, um, I cannot actually swipe up from the bottom to bring up the menu. However, there is a trick. You can actually swipe from the top down and still bring up the menu and this actually works in any app whatsoever so for example let's open up OneNote usually you would swipe from the bottom it works the same to swipe from the top so let's swipe down and it's as if I swipe from the bottom so even though my fingers can't get in there to swipe from the bottom I can still access all my menus by swiping from the top so if you didn't know it that's a little trick for you Okay, the next question is by Damien, and he had a question about the differences between the Surface Pro 3 type cover and the previous generation type cover. The trackpad, you can see the difference in size here, how much more massive the Surface Pro 3 trackpad is. It gives a lot more room than this. Uh, this feels kind of rubbery, you know, there's a lot of friction, so it's really hard to scroll, especially with the two fingers. Uh, it just doesn't give a lot of room. With this, it's just so roomy and it's so smooth. It's really slippery. It doesn't have that rubbery feel. The gesture support works so much better. And all around, I think I'd say that that is probably the biggest difference. Uh, everything else, I have not really noticed anything that I would call a huge difference. The other thing that's really worth mentioning is this magnetic strip that really makes it sturdy when you're typing. Okay, the next question is by VB4U. What does the power connector look like? Okay, so here's a detailed look at the power connector and here's the hole over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. It's still magnetic, so you can see it still kinda sucks it in when it gets close. And it works as expected. You can go both ways and get power whether you plug it in this way or whether you plug it in this way. Next question is by Vincent. Does the keyboard have a place for the pen on your model? Okay, so that's a great question. Here's the pen. This is actually what came with the type cover. And the pen itself can't really attach to the surface, or at least not that I've been able to, to find. I've not put this on yet because personally, I think it, it just uh, it adds a little too much distraction. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and attach it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the sticker. And I'm going to stick it onto the side uh, right there. Okay, so there you can see it uh, sticking out a little bit here. 
but like I said, you know, I, I think for me personally, that's too big of a distraction. I prefer just to keep my pen with me in the bag. And the next question is by Will Bobbigans, and he's asking if the screen detects the Entrig stylus when you hover over the screen, just like the, it does the digitizers. And the answer is absolutely. So you can see as I move closer to the screen, if you look carefully, you can see the little dot that I'm not actually touching the screen right now, but I'm close enough where the dot actually appears. Now, if I touch the screen, then it'll start to draw. Okay, so this next question is by Bills. He's asking if the Surface Pro 3 can run three or more apps side by side. And again, the answer is yes. So let's go ahead and open uh, Random Ruby. And I'm going to snap. So as you can see now, I'm running two apps side by side. Okay, I'm going to push this to the side here. I'm going to bring in another app. Okay, so now I am running three apps side by side, and you can see that they are flexible. Uh, now, can I bring in a fourth app? It doesn't. It looks like I cannot run four apps side by side. This next question by NFCEC is asking about uh, the 3 by 2 aspect ratio and how it feels when watching videos. Okay, so here I have two identical videos. One is on my Surface 2, the other is on my Surface Pro 3. I'm going to play them. And uh, you can see because the Surface Pro 3 screen is bigger, overall the video that you get is actually bigger than it is on the Surface uh, 2. Now in the Surface 2, it actually covers the entire screen. So there's no black bars on the bottom and top. Now this, I don't know if you can notice, but there is actually a black bar um, right there, and there is a black bar on the top as well. So overall, I'd say it's it's not that big of a difference. Those, those bars on the top and bottom, um, they don't impact the experience too much. Personally, I would prefer a button uh, to be able to fill the video to uh, the whole screen, because I don't like any black bars at all. I'd rather sacrifice not viewing what's on the side so that I can have a more immersive experience. But that's my personal preference. Um, you can see here with the Surface Pro 3, regardless, you're still getting a bigger video image, even though there are the black bars on the top and bottom. The question is from Ali, asking about testing the front-facing camera and comparing it to the Surface 2, especially in low light conditions. So I've got the Surface 2 uh, set up with the front-facing camera, and I've got the Surface Pro 3 set up with the front facing camera. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights so you can see the low light performance. Actually very good. I'd say uh, the, if you look at the color uh, on the Surface Pro 3, I would say in general the Surface uh, 2 has a sharper image, uh, but the Surface Pro 3 has more um, accurate and brighter color. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on. Um, even with the light on, I would say that the Surface 2 looks like it has a sharper image. Um, and with the light on, the colors look uh, a little bit closer for both tablets. Okay, so there's actually many more questions. Unfortunately, I've run out of time, so I won't be able to answer all of them. Uh, let me know if this was helpful for you guys. Uh, as my viewers, you guys are awesome. It's actually because of you that I got this. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, please like this video. And if you found this helpful, please share it. Thank you all for watching.